So here's this. Here's this. So here is what's going on. No. and realizing that the intro did not make any sense um because I filmed that after I went to Barnes and Noble because I decided that I was gonna make this YouTube video anyways this is just gonna be me daily vlogging like I had said um so I'm gonna show you the clips from me being at Barnes and Noble and um you know that's it um, I don't know what this YouTube thing is gonna turn into, but, um, obviously I would love for it to go somewhere, but I think I'm just doing it for, for me and my new book journey, um, just to keep track of what I'm doing personally, and if anyone wants to join and be on this journey with me, feel free, but, yeah, this isn't anything special, so I'm just putting this in the edit. Thank you. I might, ooh. I might go to the store actually. I might go to the store and get almond milk because I wanted to make coffee this morning in my Nespresso machine that I got for Christmas and then I found out that I used all of my almond milk. So, I might actually do that first. Finishing Confess by Colleen Hoover. I'm at like the last couple of chapters. It's really fucking with me. And I know I have a bunch of books at home, but I just need the comfort of Barnes and Noble right now. So I'm gonna walk around, maybe get something. If something has a deal on it, or it's just something I know that I'm going to read and I know I want to read soon and I might get it, but, um, I'm going to be good. I'm not going to, I'm not going to buy, like, 15 bucks. books and none of them I have ever heard of before. Ignore that. So it's okay. But here, I'll start with this one. Beautiful disaster. I don't know. It just looked really pretty. I like the cover and the back seems interesting. Um it's like, it reminded me of The Deal um, by L. Kennedy. So, and I really like that. So I wanted to try that one. And then Be With Me. Um, it has point shoes on it. And that's what really sold it for me. Because I'm a dancer and I feel like not a lot of books have like a dancer trope. And I just love those. Like a cheat sheet. Didn't really have a lot of dancer in it. But... The main one of the main characters was a dancer and I really like, enjoyed that. But this is like brother's best friend, um, like forbidden love, I'm assuming. And then because it's almost February, um, I got the kissing game, which seems interesting. It's it's like a Valentine's Day read. Um and it's about a girl who who opens a, a bar and she's very intrigued with a 
uh, guy who comes in really often, like a regular. Um, and I think she tries to shoot her shot um, before Valentine's Day. Well, I just opened the book and it, I I um I opened up to what I assumed to be a spicy scene. So I'm this is gonna be interesting. This is the cover. I think it's really cute. This is close up on this cover. Super cute. This one is just like oh I love butterflies. So this just really gets gets me. So these are my new books. I didn't get any books that I wanted. Um, they were there, obviously, but then I was like, wait, I could just get them on my Kindle and I can get like new books to intrigue me because I love reading hardcover, or not hardcover, but like physical copies of books. Ah! I'm so, I'm really not happy with myself, but I'm gonna go home and finish Confess by Colleen Hoover. I was gonna pick up another Colleen Hoover book I was gonna get November 9th, but I don't know. <sighs> I don't know. I also have Kindle Unlimited, so I need to like get on there and see what I can get. I was gonna get, um, let's start driving. I was gonna get another L. Kennedy book from the Off Campus series, but I have the, um, the deal. And in that book are the first two chapters from The Mistake, which is the second the second book in the series. So I think I'm gonna read those two chapters and see if I really like it and then maybe get it on my Kindle. Or knowing me, I'm gonna get a hard, like a physical copy because something about having a series and having all of the books in the series just makes me really happy. So. I think I'm gonna do that when I get home. I had a friend tell me that the Shatter Me series is really doing it for her right now. And I'm in my romance era. And I really love romance. And I really just like, for some reason, cannot get away from romance. I'll get into like a fantasy that has romance and I think that's what I need to get. Like other genres that have like a trope of romance like throughout it but I don't know it's like I love books so much and I love reading so much that I just want to like like I want to get through confess because I want to start another book but at the same time I want to savor this book like I feel like I I rushed through the beginning so I was a little confused in the beginning which I don't think that that's fully my fault I think that the book is just starts a little confusing um but now that i'm getting towards the end i'm like i want to i don't know savor it but at the same time i just want to fucking get it over with so that i can get to new books if that makes sense i also really need to push myself to get more kindle books because oh my god i also want to really start annotating my books um, because I own so many hard copy or like uh, physical copies of books, hard copies, whatever. Um, I just love the aesthetic of annotating and there's a lot of moments where I like read something and then I'm like, damn, that really hit. Or like, I don't know, or, or I'm done reading the book and I want to write a review on it or I want to do like a scrap page on it and I'm trying to think of a specific moment in the book and I can't for the life of me remember what where it was and it takes me like 20 minutes to get to that part even the smallest bit of like highlighting moments that I really enjoyed because I do want to start making videos about my books I don't know I just have never enjoyed books so much in my life
I mean, the cold foam is like okay. I feel like I need a straw. I don't know. It, I might have just fucked this drink up, to be honest with you. Mm. Look at it moving. there i have this much left i think a couple more chapters i'm almost done and then i'll talk about it okay i just finished it i finished confess by colleen hoover another like just mind-blowingly amazing book by her i love her writing so much it makes me so happy she just the ending of this book it's like a plot twist, kind of, but it's like the plot twist ends the book, if that makes sense. I don't want to, like, spoil anything. But this book, oh my god, that was so good. I think I would go with, like, a four point... Like, a 4.8 or a 4.5 out of 10, or out of 5. But I know that, um, Goodreads can't, doesn't do, like, points, so... This will just be have to be a four, four and a half, or no, a four out of five read. But wow, I'm like flabbergasted with the way that this just ended. I feel like it ended really quick, but I mean, that was, I think that was perfect. That was the perfect way to end that book. I'm shocked. I want to pick up another book now.